It looks a bit like Terminator brought to life. Four seniors from the University of Pennsylvania have created this thing they're calling Titan Arm. It's an upper body exoskeleton that could one day grant superhero powers to blue collar workers and physical therapy patients. It has already won Intel's Cornell Cup, recognizing innovative engineering prototypes. Two of the arm's creators met us in the post gym to pump some futuristic iron. So you guys, you guys started working on this just like a year ago? Yeah, as uh, juniors at the University of Pennsylvania, we started prepping early for our senior design project and yeah. we started brainstorming, figuring out what we were gonna do when we sort of grappled with this task the entire mm -hmm. summer. We were all interested in things like prosthetics and especially people who've lost limbs or maybe lost some mobility. And eventually that's how we landed on something like this is to be able to help those who have lost mobility or maybe the elderly. Um, and for people as well working in heavy lifting industries, people working in warehouses as well. Yeah, so, okay, so talk about what this thing's supposed to do. Sure, so um, we had two applications. Uh, the first one is for assistive lifting scenarios. So let's say you're a warehouse worker and you're constantly carrying these loads all day. You don't want to be exhausted and you don't want back injuries either. So um, this thing, basically, it helps you lift. So you have a powered lifting capability. It also has a holding capability, so I can just rest something on my arm and it can just sit there all day. And okay. it gets distributed through my back and then to my legs. Um, in order to prevent back injuries, we have this rigid back plate that's attached at the back that basically attaches all of the components uh, of the exoskeleton, keeps them all localized in one place, but also keeps the back straight so I don't have really bad lifting posture. We've got a, a little dumbbell here. A little dumbbell, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Alrighty, so I guess should I try just uh, regular hand first okay. to see how it compares? So, so you can vouch that it's heavy. I can vouch that it is heavy. 30 can pounds. Do maybe, maybe, maybe a couple of reps. Okay. Um, and this thing really what it's meant to do is not necessarily lift a whole lot of weight, but improve endurance. Okay. So I'll be able to lift this thing a couple times and also be able to, to hold it quite a bit as well. So what I'm doing right now is basically using the joystick uh, to move this thing up and down. And then the holding capability that I was describing before is you have a little switch here and it turns on a ratchet system in the back, makes a really cool sound, uh, but ultimately it helps you hold a whole bunch of weight. Huh. So essentially now all of the load is off the motor uh, because what we discovered is the motor is great at lifting these, these weights, but it can't hold them very well. So we had to develop a mechanical system to counteract that, and that's the braking system that you just heard. Okay. It looks like Terminator meets Nintendo. It's <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> a very good description. A very, yeah, very good description. <laughs> yeah, so we wanted to have an ergonomic controller for this device. Yeah. Um, I mean, if we, we were kind of seeing it as an end goal consumer device, someone like yeah. a, a medical device of sorts, so we didn't want anything too scary, so you could imagine having a shell over the back yeah, so it would hide the electronics yeah. and, the, and the motor. If you're thinking you'd like your own Titan arm, not so fast. Nick and Nico have actually received offers, they say, but they are not selling at this point. That's it for us for tonight. We'll fold things up. Hope to see you back here tomorrow.